What's up, Warpath? We have got another exciting 5.0 testing video for you guys today. We are bringing you guys all of the most up-to-date testing videos that we possibly can uh, regarding the 5.0 update. Since it is still new, we want to give you guys a, an idea on what units are good, what units are not so good in terms of once they're modernized, how big of a difference you guys are going to see in uh, the 7.2 versus 8 star units, things like that, to just give you guys an idea of baseline and things like that to work off of, especially when you guys are transitioning into these future conquest events, you guys can have an idea on what you want to prioritize and what you don't really necessarily feel like you need to prioritize, things like that. And you can also expect, uh, it'll also give you a baseline on what to expect in terms of of fall off from firepower, durability, survivability, all of the things from these different tier of units. With that being said, this video is going to be the anti-tank gun versus the helicopter. What we're going to do is Josh and I are going to be testing the anti-tank gun versus the helicopter on base defense because not everybody has both. So luckily Josh does. We can test both like myself right you guys can see my lineup here i've got an anti-tank gun i do not have a helicopter so some people have helicopters and not anti-tank guns in fact i know a lot of people in that situation so we're going to test both to give you guys an idea on how effective each of them are going to be on base defense what we're going to do is the anti-tank gun is going to be first followed then by the helicopter here's going to be the officer pairings on both on the anti-tank gun Josh is going to have Percy as the lead officer and Death Adder as the secondary officer. Percy is going to be the officer of choice here on the ATG because of her garrisoned uh, damage increase. And then obviously per, uh, Death Adder is kind of a given because of his increase in uh, penetration boost. And then on the helicopter, it's going to be because technically it is converted from a tank hunter into a helicopter. So it is technically considered a uh, tank unit in terms of officer skills and where they apply. So he is going to be running Guardian of Truth as the lead officer. And then Death Adder, of course, like I said, for the additional penetration boost there as well. So that is going to be the officer pairings and the combinations on both the anti-tank gun as well as the helicopter. And then we are going to do, he only has an ATG in his base right now. And then he's only going to have a helicopter on this attack. And then we are going to be using the eight star super heavy. We are going, we have got all of the enhancement categories, 48%. We have let not gone past 48% for the simple fact of, uh, of the refined components. And that is where people get bogged down. So we have done up to 48%. And then, so you guys can have a pretty true depiction on where most people can get with their super heavies. Some can get past it. A lot cannot, again, due to the amount of refined components needed to continue that progression. So we stopped at 48%. So we can give you guys as true and realistic um, actual combat uh, scenario as we possibly can for most players. So with this being said, we're going to go ahead and attack his base. And then we're going to see the difference in ATG versus helicopter. This first one is going to be the ATG. And then once we're done with both testings, we are going to take a look at the reports together. Okay, so we are good there. And then obviously, as you guys can see, I have got... Um, Spanner and Steel Fighter both as my uh, they're, they're, on, they're my officer pairing. So what we're going to do is we're going to retrain here. Josh is going to train up the helicopter now. And then once we are both fully retrained and ready to roll, we are going to um, we are going to go ahead and get the next round of testing underway. OK, guys, we are fully retrained and we are back. This is going to be the second round of testing we are going to be using the helicopter this time the previous round was the anti-tank gun this round is going to be only the helicopter the helicopter is going to be the only thing in base and he has josh has uh switched his officers around accordingly he has now got guardian of truth as the lead officer and then he has got death adder as the secondary officer and nothing has changed with our super heavy it is still eight star 48 percent enhancements on all categories and we are going to go ahead and attack the base and see what these results look like. So it definitely, definitely is clearly visible that the anti-tank gun is a lot more effective on base defense, at least currently than the ATG. 
Okay, so he has killed us there. So we're going to go ahead and start that retrain. We are going to wait for this battle report to process here. And then what we are going to do is we're going to take a look at both battle reports and compare them side by side again. The first one was the anti-tank gun with Percy and Adder. And then the second one was the helicopter with Guardian of Truth and Adder. So... Hopefully this will generate here quickly for us. Okay, there we go. There is our report. Let's take a look. So this first one is from the anti-tank gun. You guys can see the attack lasted for 12 seconds. All right, you guys can see unit damage, uh, unit damage dealt. Uh, obviously it's against a base, so kind of irrelevant. Uh, but let's hop over here and you guys can see quite a bit of a difference same thing, we were able to do more more uh, unit damage dealt because the attack obviously lasted longer. Uh, that was a pretty drastic result, and I do understand, guys, I do please understand that I do understand there are variables here in terms of penetration damage and things like that. There's nothing I can do about that. I cannot change the mechanics of the game, but that is not the purpose of this either. The purpose of this is just to give you guys kind of a baseline to see how different the results are from the anti-tank gun to the helicopter again this is not one size fits all there may be times where you've got your helicopter garrisoned right and you have got uh uh may, maybe you get more penetration shots into uh the a super heavy or something like that and it changes the results but this is just kind of a basic baseline idea for you guys if you guys are trying to decide which units to modernize which units to focus on developing so on and so forth so you guys can see with the anti-tank gun that lasted for 12 seconds you guys can see with the helicopter that lasted for 26 seconds, so a little over uh, double the time in terms of what it took to actually kill off the Super Heavy. So with that being said, clearly the anti-tank gun, um, at least as of right now, with the exception of a few variables, definitely seems like the more dominant unit still for base defense and for being able to kill off Super Heavy. So definitely still make sure that you guys have su uh, have uh, anti-tank guns in your base. If you guys do not, I highly encourage you guys, at least when you're going offline or if you guys are going to do a hot drop or something like that, to put the anti-tank gun in your lineup. And if you guys are one of those players that do not have the anti-tank gun built, and oddly enough, I know quite a few people that do not have the anti-tank gun built. I would highly encourage you guys to build the anti-tank gun as fast as possible, especially with these modern units now, because people are going to be getting very strong super heavies before we know it. And that's going to be a very effective tool to limit their effectiveness against your base if you can eat through them with the with the anti-tank gun. If you guys don't have an anti-tank gun, it's probably going to be a long day for you guys because the super heavy will just sit there and withstand the attack for quite a bit longer, resulting in them losing less troops, you getting less kills, and ultimately your base getting destroyed. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have stuck around this far and you guys have liked the video, uh, please do go ahead and hit the like button on the videos. It does help me out tremendously. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as it does help me uh, tremendously as well. And then also, if you guys have access to Discord and you are not already in the Discord server, the link is below in the description as well as in the pinned comment on this video and all other videos as well. So we would love to have you guys. We've got players all across Warpath and from all different alliances and servers. And if you guys, again, do have access to Discord and would like to be, a, be come over and be a part of that community with us, we would love to have each and every one of you guys as well. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys, and we will catch you guys on the next one.